gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Murderologists. I am Professor Reuben Crowley, also known as the Lead Murderologist, joined once again by my faithful manservant slash Pacto de Bertram, also known as the Stupid Murderologist. Go on, say hello, Bertram. Hello, Bertram. And today we will be talking about Emile Dubois, also known as the Robin Hood of Chile. Yes. So, my friends, Louis Amadeo Brie Lacroix, also known as Emile Dubois and his lovely mustache, was born in 1867 in France, a country that is renowned for chaps with lovely mustaches. Um, and garlic? Yes, and garlic. Um, and the Moulin Rouge? Yes, and the Moulin Rouge. Uh, and Ava Green's lovely cleavage. Yes, and Ava Green's lo- Wait a minute. I've told you before, Bertram, and I'll tell you once again. Ava Green is the love of my life, and therefore I am the only one allowed to talk about her lovely cleavage. <clears throat> Let's get back to the matter at hand. So, Emile Dubois, born in France, son of Joseph Brie and Marie Lacroix. Um, Lacroix? Yes, Lacroix. Uh, no, I mean, would you like a Lacroix? What the hell is a Lacroix? Um, I think it's a biscuit. There's no time for biscuits, Bertram. We have to get to the killings as soon as possible. Um, who are we killing? Not us, you moron. I meant we have to start talking about Emile Dubois' killings. Oh. Yes. So, Emile killed for the first time at the age of four when he accidentally, on purpose, stood on a beetle in the schoolyard. Um, is that true? Absolutely not. Emile actually killed for the first time at the age of 15, when he murdered his girlfriend's father, or some such nonsense. Oh my! Yes, indeed. Emile was a naughty chap, indeed. He would kill again just two years later. Um, who did he kill? A major? No, a minor. Oh. After a short prison sentence and an even shorter romance with a dwarf, Emile journeyed for Venezuela, where he would procure not one, but two lovers. Oh, lucky chap. Yes, indeed. Sounds awfully exhausting, though. Um, quite. Now it was here that Emile killed yet again. Helped by his two lovers, he led a Peruvian chap to a brothel in Oru, where he was murdered and then robbed of his savings. Oh no! Now that you mention it, I seem to be missing quite a large sum of money. Uh, where did you get money, Bertram? Um, my wages? I don't pay you wages, Bertram. Uh, not unless you're talking about the scraps I let you eat from my dinner plate each night. <clears throat> Moving on, did you know, Bertram, that in Chile at that time, Emile Dubois was known as the Chilean Robin Hood? Um, did he wear green tights? Oh, absolutely. Um, I'd have a feather in his cap? Oh, absolutely. 
Oh, really? No, not really. Oh. Anyway, after killing at the brothel, Monsieur Dubois robbed and murdered a chap by the name of Ernesto La Fontaine in Santiago. Um, where is Santiago? Chile. Uh, would you like me to fetch you a scarf? No, I mean Santiago is in Chile. Oh! You really are the dumbest chap I've ever known, Bertram. So yes, Emile not only murdered Ernesto La Fontaine, he also stole his prized gold watch, some cash, and his favourite pair of Spider-Man underpants. Uh, did they have Spider-Man underpants back then? Oh yes, yes. <clears throat> I think. Now, Dubois would commit three more murders before finally being caught in 1905. Um, how did he get caught? With a very large fishing net. Um, really? No, not really. He actually attempted to kill a dentist, failed, and was then set upon by the citizens of Haddonfield. Ha ha ha! Um, I don't get it. No, Haddonfield? Um, Halloween kills? Um, Evil dies tonight? Um, never mind. Anyway, Dubois was caught, tried, and then executed in 1907. And thus, the legend of the Chilean Robin Hood comes to an end. Um, that was very, uh, educational. Why, thank you, Bertram. I mean, I'm sure most of it was accurate. Well, apart from the bit about the underpants. And the dwarf. And the beetle. Oh, and the bit about the lubricant. Um, what bit about the lubricant? Oh, that's right, I cut that joke out. Oh, I want to hear it. Well, maybe next time. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This little video on the Chilean Robin Hood. If you enjoyed this little video of ours, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't enjoyed it, well then feel free to give me a thumbs down. Don't forget to hit that bloody like, subscribe, bell button thingy. Feel free to share this video with everyone that you know, but remember the single most important thing that I always tell you here, viewer, and that is to always, uh, Bertram. Uh, yes? I haven't come up with a catchphrase for the end of the videos yet. Um, uh, mm, uh, mm, how about, uh... No, Bertram, that sounds like a terrible idea. For just now, we shall just say goodbye. Say goodbye, Bertram. Goodbye, Bertram.